Hey, on to side two, number five. In the year 1900, the high jump champion of the Summer Olympics jumped six feet, two and three quarters inches. In the year 2000, the high jump champion jumped seven feet, eight and one half inches. How much higher did the champion in 2000 jump than the champion in 1900? All right, so let's take these, uh, how much higher? So I'm talking about the difference between the two numbers. So that would be subtraction. I'm going to take my uh, seven and seven feet, eight and a half inches, right? Seven feet, eight and a half, and I'm subtract six feet at two and three quarters. All right, now I'm very lucky here because um, it turns out my eight is bigger than the two, right? So I don't, I won't have to borrow from over here. So this is going to end up being one foot no matter what. The answer is going to be one foot. And in fact, all the answer choices have that foot. So really, I can forget about the feet part and just deal with the inches. So my, my question is really about what is eight and a half inches minus two and three quarters inches. And if I work that out here, uh, let's see. Again, this is subtraction, right? Eight and a half minus two and three quarters. Okay. So first thing I got to do is I have to turn these into, at least the easiest thing would be to turn them into uh, improper fractions. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 8 and add 1. That gives me 17 halves. And I'm going to subtract 4 times 2 plus 3 is 11 fourths. Now they have, their denominators are not the same. So I have to get the denominators to be the same. In class we said that the easiest, the easiest way to do that would be multiply them straight across. So if I multiply 2 times 4 and I multiply the numerator straight across, no, that's not how I do it, huh? Well, I almost messed up here. If I multiply the denominator straight across, that gives me 8. Then I have to multiply my numerators diagonally, right? So 4 times 17 gives me uh, 68. And over here I have 2 times 11, which is 22. And if I do my subtraction now, 68 minus 22 is 46. My answer is 46 eighths. Now I can reduce this. They're both even. So if I divide by 2, I get 23 fourths. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to turn this back into a mixed number by dividing it. So 4 divides into 23 five times with remainder of 3. My answer is 5 and 3 fourths. 1 foot, 5 and 3 fourths inches, which is choice B. All right. Question number 8. Uh, six. On Tuesday morning, each student in Mrs. Cantu's class brought in two-thirds of a dozen cookies to sell for a fundraiser. If there are 31 students in Mrs. Cantu's class, how many dozen cookies are brought to class that day? All right, so it looks like we're to be uh, each student is bringing two-thirds, so I'm going to be adding two-thirds for every student. Right? So repeated addition or multiplication. So if I multiply 31 times two-thirds, that should give me my answer. Um, we talked about multiplying fractions. First step is make sure that they're both fractions. So I'm going to put 31 over 1. <clears throat> and now I just multiply straight across. 31 times 2 is 62. And 1 times 3 is 3. There's my answer. Now i got to turn this into a mixed number. 3 divides into 62 how many times? Well, 3 times 20 is 60. And that leaves me over with 2 left over. So 20 and 2 thirds, which is choice H. Question seven. According to a recipe for cooking roast beef, it takes half an hour for each pound of beef in an oven heated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. How long should it take for it to cook a roast that weighs six and three quarters pounds? Okay, all right. So every pound here is going to be cooked for half an hour. Okay. So that means I've got to, what, divide this into pounds. Oh, that's already done. And then multiply that by a half hour. So really, all i got to do is multiply these two fractions together. Right? Yeah, that'll do it. So if I take my number 6 and 3 quarters and multiply by 1 half. Okay. So before I do that, I'm going to turn this into an improper fraction. So 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3 is 27. And now I'm going to multiply straight across. 27 times 1 is 27. 4 times 2 is 8. And I can turn this back into an improper, I'm sorry, back into a mixed number by dividing 8 into 27. 8 times 3 is 24, so that leaves me with 27 minus 24 is 3 eighths hours. Choice D. Number 8. 
The parents of the Newton Junior High School Choir want to make a robe for each of the 24 choir members. If each robe requires two and five-eighths yards of cloth, what is the total number of yards of cloth needed to make all the robes? Okay, so again, I've got, uh, we're making clothes for 24 people. Each person needs it, so I'm going to be adding that cloth over and over and over again, which is the same as multiplication. So I'm going to be multiplying the 24 people times the two and five-eighths. So right away, the first thing I want to do is um, turn this, in, this mixed number into an improper fraction. That's done by multiplying 8 times 2 and adding the 5. That'll give me 21 eighths. And this 24, I'm going to put over 1, and so it's a fraction. Again, I can, uh, I can simplify things a little bit here because I have an 8 on the bottom and an 8 here, 8 times 3. Right? So the 8's canceled out, and I'm left with 3 times 21 which is 62 over 1. So 62, oh, 60, 63 times 21 is 63 over 1. So choice G. <coughs> All right, we'll do